now I would have to leave a space where I had so much access and I had made so much money into a place where I didn't even know if I'd be successful. I think really one of my biggest fear was being labeled as someone who fell off. Hi, my name is Namde Nimdaki. I am the founder of a female online interest platform called The Gender Woman. There's honestly nothing that shakes up um, your confidence like trying something new. I've particularly felt self-confidence dips when I've made big career pivots. When I started at Gender Woman, it was confusing for a lot of people. I'd really built a great reputation in the entertainment industry and I was quite successful. I'd also just gained so much respect from celebrities across the continent. I knew how to make money in the entertainment industry. I understood the ecosystem. I'd even gone on to build uh, global relationships through the back of the reputation that I'd built in the space. To be honest, what everyone feared, I also feared, you know? I had no clue um, what I was getting myself into. My ego was also screaming, you know, I would have to leave a space where I had so much access and I had made so much money into a place where I didn't even know if I'd be successful. I think really one of my biggest fear was being labeled as someone who fell off. You know, to make it worse, I had no idea what I needed to do to make a gender woman a success. I was new to the industry and I had no idea who to ask for help. I felt alone, doubtful, and insecure. It felt like everyone around me knew what they were doing except me. And uh, every small challenge felt like that was the reason I should quit. You know, I really struggled with anxiety. It was difficult to wake up every day knowing that the work I'm doing, I'm actually not confident about. Regaining confidence is a process. And really it's about committing to that commitment to continuously focus on building your competence, especially in those areas where your confidence is affected. So every day I had one thing to accomplish and that feeling of accomplishment began to compound. This is something called the confidence competence loop. And how it works is you have objectives, you practice, you get feedback, positive or negative, your competence builds, which then affects your confidence. So I knew for myself that morning and evening routines were something I needed to stack up with rituals that would help me remain grounded. Particularly meditation and journaling helped me focus and set my intentions for every day. I think it's very important for people to understand the impact of those small achievements. Of course, the journey is not linear. You'll have ups and downs, but the consistency in itself was a big win on my part. For me, it really has been about uh, managing my anxiety through repeated effort and process of grounding myself and really focusing on my inner power and what I know that I'm able to deliver. On the work front, it really has been about consistently asking for help, failing, trying, going through the loop again and again. Today, I'm very confident in my efforts of building a gender woman. I'm no longer anxious about the challenges that come with the job. And really my commitment to my confidence is really around trusting the process and staying consistent in everything that I do. Whatever the thing is that you really want to do, but feels very different from anything you've ever done, anything you've ever seen, I want to encourage you to dive in. That feeling of discomfort, that's the feeling that's going to push you through. That's the feeling that's going to carry you when you're no longer excited. That's the feeling that you need to really achieve your goals. 
Hey sis, could you relate to this story? Stand a chance to win some amazing prizes and have your story featured by submitting an audio recording, telling us about a moment in your life you lost self-confidence, regained it, and what you learned in the process. Visit www.confidentdarling.com for more details on how to enter and share your moment story. Hey, my name is Nomdeni and I just shared my moment. I hope it inspires you to share yours.